One of the most important things to understand about the resilience phase is that it's hard won. We don't become resilient by being calm or perfect. We become resilient by being knocked off our center time and again, and we slowly learn to come back. As we learn to come back, eventually we get quite good at coming back. In fact, it's not that we even need to be the ones to come back. It's that we've trained the capacity to return, to stay centered in the midst of the chaos, in the midst of difficult emotions, of physical unpleasantness, of doubt and fear and confusion. We learn how to stay present and to trust that no matter what arises, no matter what comes, we can be with it, we can hold it, we can accept it. We can trust that there's something greater which can hold all of this. We don't know what that something greater is. It's not an experience that we're having because every experience which is arising in the resilience phase is being known. As we deepen into the resilience phase, our awareness, our attention begins to expand in all directions and begins to become panoramic. It includes all experiences that are arising, including the sense of the one who's aware or the one who's watching. It becomes quite calm, relaxed, at ease. It can even feel a little dreamlike or sleepy. As we deepen further and further into this more panoramic and open space of awareness, at some point the door can open without our knowing when or how into the completion phase.